We learned Tuesday afternoon that Workhorse, uh, turns out, is not going to get this 10-year United States Postal Service much sought after contract and that it's going to Oshkosh instead, OSK the stock. Uh, that news in the afternoon yesterday took the stock down close to 61% when all was said and done. Obviously going to be in play again coming through to Wednesday morning. Sean was all over Workhorse at the Open this morning. We're going to walk you through how he approached trading Workhorse today. Uh, guys, if you like this content, make sure you take a second, hit the like button, and subscribe to this uh, channel. Sean, tell us about how you were looking at Workhorse today. Thank you, Brennan. Another great opportunity today to look at a stock that's moving. We had some pre-market action, and that's actually where we're going to take this trade. We took it in the pre-market, and again, so, so important. Like, if you missed Workhorse yesterday, you have the second day action, right? The news came out in the middle of the afternoon, and I'm just going to show you quickly. We did have a bunch of halts. You know, halt, halt. Well, I zoomed in so we could talk about our trade here, but a bunch of different halts yesterday. This area was very, very key for me, around the 13, 1350 area, and we'll talk about how that comes into play once again today. But a lot of volume, a lot of action on Workhorse, so we look at it again today. Sign up for our watch list, watchlist.tradertv.live, and you'll be able to see why we take some of these trades. But basically, Brendan, we had a 13, uh, sorry, 1475 was the pre-market bottom. It held, it held, it held. As soon as we broke that bottom, I started executing a short, so nice, I believed in it twice. We take two shorts right here as it's breaking, 14.75. You can see the time, 9, 9.05-ish, you know, a little early. So we're a little bit jumpy on what to do there, but we don't get too much action. As you can see, it goes down. Both of these bids there are out at 14.50. Generally speaking, that's how I'll trade. I'll trade around the quarters. So we go short 75, my first target area, 50s, my next target area, 25s, so on and so forth. And then we look for these bottoms. And this is where I talked about that yesterday. Remember I said 1340, 1350? We draw this channel here, move over to what I'm looking at. You know, this is the bottom. It, it halted, it, it opened up around here, bounced around, went to the upside, halted again, came back down. So we did trade a little bit in that area. So when we have a target for our initial short, yeah, it's going to be down there. And I even said that live on the show, but, but we got to take some profit. So let's review where we get out of this trade. So we start the day off with a big trade on Workhorse. It happens early, but then look where we don't get filled. We don't start getting filled until the market actually opens. And this is a very, very common practice. A lot of traders, a lot of market makers unable to or just don't want to trade in the pre-market. So as soon as that happens, look what happens here to the workhorse. The flush comes in. There's our out at 14.25, just like we said. Then we get some out around 14 even. And then bang, the flush happens. And we start to get out here. 13.80, 13.60. And we do take a 13.50 print. Look, this is the bottom. This week doesn't happen. This is basically the bottom of that move on Workhorse. It's, it, it, it's a great opportunity to get out of your shares off of yesterday's low, okay? So we got to look at that. It's not just the low yesterday. It's just where there was some consolidation on some back and forth trades there. So that's a big trade for me today. Workhorse short, 14.75. We cash out there, 13.60. That's a dollar move on a $14 name. It's a great trade. However, look at this last piece, right? We don't hold it all the way. So generally speaking, each one of these is about 10% out. I think it's exactly 10% out. So we do hold the last 20% and look where we get out again, that 14.50 mark. We make sure that we put the profits in our pocket. We hold out for the home runs. We get it. And then we hit a couple singles and doubles on the backside and make sure we don't turn a winning trade into a losing trade. But Brendan, that's workhorse. It's nice and simple for me. It's the trade of the day. Uh, so much anticipation surrounding uh, Workhorse ending up getting this USPS contract and on the news that they are not. Obviously, this is a, a fundamental shift in this company. So coming in tomorrow, or this morning, uh, we're looking obviously to the downside and uh, short side uh, opportunity, great opportunities in Workhorse, as uh, Sean mentioned there and walked you, uh, walked you through today from WKHS. Uh, you could have also had a look at uh, Ride as well uh, on the side. Also some negativity on this news, guys. Hope you like that and learned something. Uh, we'll check you again next time.